Hey guys, how's it going? This is Mark Berto with Sea Hunter Boats and welcome aboard the 46 CTS. So the 46 CTS has a beam of 12.4. Uh, it holds 840 gallons of fuel, 28 gallons of fresh water, and we've seen uh, speeds in excess of 72 miles an hour. Tested at the moment. Uh, we have some more props that we're gonna work on, so we'll fill you guys in with more information. Uh, right around uh, 40 miles an hour, I was able to maintain around 0.8 miles per gallon. Again, those numbers are just gonna get better as we do more haul testing in the future. Going through our R&D process, we had a lot of haul designs to choose from. Um, we went with the asymmetrical haul that uh, almost eliminated all the bow steer of the boat that cats are known for. And as you can see, we put a huge bow flare in the front. Thanks for a very, very dry ride. And we couldn't be more happy with our, our choice in the hull design. This boat is powered with a quad 425 XCOs by Yamaha. This is the first catamaran that uh, has used these engines. Uh, they're very, very powerful, it gobs of torque and really happy with the numbers right now. Walking through the transom here, as you notice, it's completely flat deck, it's level. There's no splash roll anywhere in the boat. So, you know, when you're back here, you can easily fight a fish around the engines. Walking down the center right here, we uh, have two cleats that we utilize right here. So when you back up to a dock, you can actually spread your lines across and not hit your cowlings. And then inside here, utilize the pull-out ladder. So when you guys are diving, easy access into the hull and it slides inside of it, stows away. Here at the transom area, we have two 55-gallon live wells. This is a standard um, that comes on the hull. We have uh, two pitch bait wells that we can also do a full-blown tuna tube inside of it. If you guys wanted to order it that way, that's an option. All of our live wells at Sea Hunter come dual plumbed uh, from a pump box that's located right here in the bilge, and uh, we'll go over that now. So coming into our bilge area right here, you can see it's completely finished off, all acrylic. Five gallon buckets fit down inside there. Inside here we have our pump box that runs all of our bait wells and they're all dual plumb, so you have a, a, a backup well. Down here you have some bilge access to where your bilge pumps are and your through haul fittings. And of course, you know, true sea inner fashion, we have the carbon fiber lids on everything in the boat. Um, I get asked a lot, this is a fake carbon fiber. This is actually a real hand laid carbon fiber on all the hatches inside of a Sea Hunter. Right here we have our in-house made Sea Hunter rocket launcher. Uh, this is great for kite fishing or pulling, you know, lines off the outriggers. I mean, back here we have our full uh, foam injected aft facing cooler. On this model, we actually put a freezer plate inside of it. So this is a 12 volt freezer plate. And uh, when you plug the boat into shore power, it'll actually automatically switch over to 110. And moving up here, we have our tackle center storage area here. Got all your uh, Plano boxes and you have two nice little pull out drawers here. You have four catch all trays. And then uh, inside here, we actually put a lip, so you can do all your rigging here. You have all your rods here, pull your lines over, do all your rigging, all in one area. It makes it really nice and really neat. So walking forward into our helm area right here, as you can see that we utilize six full-blown captain's chairs. Each captain chair has its own bolster that folds up and down, as well as the armrests. These chairs are built by Caribbean Canvas. They do a great job for us here at Sea Hunter. So we actually utilize all the space underneath these chairs. And inside here we have a dry storage area and this is where we house all of our battery switches also. So moving to our helm area, uh, as you can tell, we have a triple 8617s, so tons of room in here. We have four cup holders built inside here and then you can close this up. You can lock all your electronics inside there so you have cut down on theft. So here I am standing in the spacious bow of the 46 CTS. As you can tell, between where I'm standing in the coffin box, there's over 11 feet of room up here with a 12-4 beam. Utilize the flat deck so there's no step up um, in the bow of this boat. We have two massive uh, fish boxes up here or rod lockers. And they're completely foam injected, so every box in this boat will hold ice equally as the next. And walking forward into the anchor locker, we have nice anchor storage inside here. Plenty of uh, storage for your ropes two little side hatches, and inside here it's one continuous space. So here we are in our stand through upper driving station. Um, this is a great option for guys who have a problem with clearance on bridges, or if your boat stays inside of a barn or something, you have all the amenities of a tower, still have great line of sight, but just not the height restrictions. 
I'm Mark Berta with Sea Owner Boats, and I wanted to thank you guys for joining us on the walkthrough video of the 46 CTS. If you guys have any questions at all, hit us up on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, or on our website, www.seahunterboats.com.